what's up everyone i'm here to bring you a very important update on v chain we have been reacting beautifully off some, our, so off some of our fib levels and our pitch fork here so in this video i'm gonna run through some tactical analysis talk about what i see happening both short term and long term mention some off chart and on chart factors that you need to be aware of so if you like the sound of that I want to ask you to do me a favor and really it's do yourself a favor like subscribe comment share and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads because folks uh, we've been killing it okay i was saying back in this apex if we break down this is exactly where i'd be uh looking to, to book my buy orders for v chain this is exactly where we uh where i think we'd find support that's exactly where we fell to and folks if you'd been stayed if you'd been following our channel if you'd been stayed tuned you could have been up on VeChain over 190%. So folks, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads because we've been killing it. Okay, now, let's mention a few, I think, very important things right off the bat. Well, this Pitchfork 1, for one, we've been reacting pretty well off the different lines within our Pitchfork. Whenever we're in the uh, a pal a parabolic trend, uh, I sometimes like to draw Pitchforks because they can often be very helpful to try to identify uh, hidden support and, resist and resistance levels, especially when we're, when we're within price discovery and we can't, uh, we don't have historical price action to kind of gauge things off of. So because we're in, uh, in price discovery, uh, I drew a Pitchfork here uh, based off the bottom of the macro or impulse uh, to the top and then retracement we get some lines that's going to be uh, probably helpful and relevant and we can see we've been, like everywhere you look you can see somewhere where we've been reacting off our pitchfork here now another thing as well i drew a uh, fibonacci extension based off the macro uh bottom to the macro top and then the retracement uh, before the breakout from all-time highs and we've been reacting based off these fin levels pretty well i mean you can see here with the 618 uh we reacted off it pretty well here with the 7 uh 786 we reacted off it pretty well so what do we need to look out for and to try and gauge what the next move is what's the next impulse is it to the upside is it to the downside well Folks, a few interesting things to note is uh, we've been finding support and maintaining above the 20 exponential moving average on the six hour. That's where we've been falling to and where we begin the next leg up every time we correct on our uptrend. So if we start to break below the 20 EMA on the six hour, then I think we're probably due for more of an extended pullback. Look, everywhere, look, folks, everywhere you look, we can see how we're constantly reacting, constantly finding support off the 20 EMA on the six hour all throughout this impulse here. I wonder if we go to the eight hour, if it's even more clear. Yeah, see, see, the eight hours probably a little bit more clear. You can see based off these wicks here. So eight hours, six hours, two, um, 20 EMA uh, is very important. If we start to break below that, then I think more of an extended pullback is is uh, perhaps warranted. As well, this green support line here, we can see our candle body is trying to close above it. Uh, in order for us to remain short-term bullish, I do believe we need to maintain uh, within this channel here. If we start to break below this blue channel here and enter this green zone, I think it's likely that we see bull uh, bearish continuation. To see bullish continuation, we need to get above eight cents in this fib level once we can get above eight cents and hold above eight cents folks i think our next impulse takes us to nine nine and a half cents for reaching that is absolutely crazy folks i put v chain in my top three cryptocurrency list for this bull run uh somewhere over here <laughs> i don't i don't remember exactly when but who cares it doesn't matter you're up like oh, let's say you got it at the very top you'd still be up uh, just over 100% folks gotta stay tuned to this channel you, you got it. what are you doing you're losing money not following this channel folks v chain for those who don't know aims to improve supply chains and logistics through tracking on the blockchain it's the leader in its niche it already has real world partnerships some of its biggest partners oh uh, you know just some small companies like bmw walmart china so you know it's just, go ahead so go back to sleep folks don't don't follow this channel oh, folks VeChain is a monster. I don't believe we've seen anything yet. Now, let's say we get past this region. Based off this, these FIB levels here that have been pretty reactive and, and pretty uh, valid, I think, so far, folks, our next impulse to take could take us to 13 cents. That is absolutely insane. I have been talking about and chilling VeChain ever since it was around 2 cents on this YouTube channel. Folks, you got to stay tuned. Now, so... Let's say we break down because we're quite overextended. Let's take a look at our indicators trying to get a sense of what's going on. Maybe maybe a pullback is warranted. So let's take a look at the daily here. Um, daily looks strong, except the histogram's ticking down a little bit here. It's not the strongest uptrend. Uh, weighted MACD had a bearish crossover. Ooh, yeah, look at that bearish crossover. Tried out a bullish one, couldn't have it. Weighted MACD acts as, as a leading indicator on the regular MACD, so it's in a downtrend. It's very bearish as well. The stochastic RSI overbought as hell and had a bearish crossover on the way down 
regular RSI folks overbought and making a lower high. I am starting to see some concerning weakness on VeChain. Now, folks, a few nuances to consider here. We can be very overbought and continue to see uptrending. Okay, it's just one factor and it's a concerning factor, especially on a larger time frame. But just because we're overbought doesn't mean that we can't continue to go up in a, in a parabolic bull run. Uh, things happen that don't necessarily make logical sense. But um, I need to say, state that this is actually very concerning. Look at this. See how this peak in our side lines up with this piece, uh, peak in price action. Uh, this peak in our side lines up with this peak in price action. We made a lower high in our side paired with a higher high in price action. And whenever we see that, that's extremely bearish, especially on a higher time frame, because it's telling us the upward momentum is running out of steam. So uh, again, perhaps folks, if we start to break down below that fifth level of 7.1 and this green support line here on our pitchfork, perhaps more of an extended pullback is warranted. I mean, we've had a massive run up and folks, like, look, we have run up, pullback, run up, pullback, run up, pullback, run up, and we might have a pullback. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, if, if VeChain pulls back in the short term, uh, if I, if anything, I really hope VeChain pulls back because I might want to buy some more. So let's keep looking here and look, yeah, 12 hour concerning folks, 12 hour histogram ticking down. Way to MACD looks like it wants to have a bearish crossover, stochastic R side, bearish crossover, regular R side again, overbought, making a lower macro high concerning, uh, six hour. So looking at the six hour here, six hour might have a bearish crossover on the MACD. Let's look at the four. I wonder if we had it already. Yeah, bears cross from the four hour MACD. No boy, no very bad news bears. Uh, yeah, we can see how every time we had the bears cross over here, we have a little bit of a leg down. Uh, bears cross over, leg down. So we had the bears cross over just recently. So again, perhaps more of a leg down is warranted. So let's keep looking here. Let's finish off with the one hour. Uh, so one hour is looking strong ish, ish. MACD histogram taken up. Weighted MACD bullish crossover seems like it might want to have one. Stochastic R side oversold bullish crossover. Stochastic R side great for understanding shifts and trends. Okay, so we may have an impulse here in the short term. Ooh, 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 okay, I'm very glad I brought this up because I think this is what we need to look out for in order to understand whether we see a bullish or bearish cross um, a breakout here in the short term with V chain. So drawing a few resistance lines here on the R side could be very telling to understand what the next move is for uh, for V chain. So if you can break above this red resistance line here on the other side, then maybe we can maintain and hold above this previous high at 7.3 and maintain above this green line here on our pitchfork. Uh, perhaps we go for next leg up, retest this red resistance line. Maybe that takes us takes us to retest this blue channel here. Um, if we can break above these red resistance lines here on the hourly RSI, I think those will probably result in short-term bullish impulses for VeChain, and the hourly is looking strong. So, kind of to finish uh, finish wrap up here, uh, larger time frames do look bullish, although we're we're seeing very concerning things. We're seeing some bearish uh, things over the mid hourlies, but for now, it doesn't seem like we want to break down quite just yet. Let's say we do break down at some point below this green line we're probably going to retest uh, this red median line here on the uh, pitchfork and then this one and then this one so basically every every one of these uh green lines that we break down we're probably going to retest the next one down below it as well i've highlighted some key areas that are likely to act as a at the very least a temporary floor support if we break down that being the six seven region uh six uh six cents seven for for reaching there's a little spike in volume here price reactive zone that's where we wicked off uh and then aside from that kind of the six four and then these all-time highs at six cents i think are our temporary stops uh if we break down now let's take a look here now i want to take a look at the six hour uh here's why i want to take a look at the six hour I think we probably remain within this pitchfork because of the six hour 280 May. Folks, this has been the most important support level for VeChain constantly. The 280 May is constantly acting as a solid bedrock of support. So many times, every time we break down, look one, two, three, four, five, five times. After we've had massive corrections, massive breakdowns, ooh, the sky is falling, panic sell, everything. We found support on the 200 EMA on the six hour. So moving forward, I think this is the number one most important support level for VeChain. That currently being at about five cents to about four, eight cents, uh, which, you know, by the time you're watching, this could be within our pitchfork here. So worst case scenario, perhaps we still remain within our pitchfork. So these are some of the most important support levels that we need to look out for. Uh, these here at kind of nine, four, nine, five, and 13 are my uh, short term price targets. If we can start to break above these resistance levels that I've mentioned previously. Now, over the long term, I like to say, I like to think that VeChain could reach a price target of 50 cents to a dollar over the long term this cycle before 2021. But I don't know that for sure. Nobody knows that for sure. But what I do think I know better 
is understanding when this bull run is likely to end. I think Bitcoin is likely to end September, October this year, and VeChain and the altcoins roughly a month after. So come September, come October, come November, that is when I'm scaling out and selling slowly out of my long positions, regardless of price action, whether it reaches at 10 cents, 50 cents, or a dollar, or a thousand dollars. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Um, that's when I'm selling my chain if you want to know why i think that time frame specifically join our discord link for that down in the description below uh where we uh, post our um in our resource sections we help we post very helpful resources um uh, as well folks shilling time join token metrics it's an ai fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform if you can spare we recommend it uh we use it to help inform our research they send us uh, helpful uh, uh code reviews where they break down different cryptocurrencies and review them so we find that very helpful a lot of their platforms are very helpful it helps inform some of our research so we highly recommend it if you can spare it you get 10 percent off for joining token metric link down in the description as well if you want to support us directly join our patreon you'll get access to our vip discord group where we talk about low cap gems interesting setups and very helpful resources link to join that will be down in the description below um now before i leave you guys uh i just gotta i just gotta gloat for a second here and say we've been reacting so beautifully off the exact levels i've predicted on the vchain bitcoin pairing it's always important to follow the vchain bitcoin pairing and the vchain ethereum pairing because you'll find hidden support and resistance levels that you wouldn't have anticipated if you were just following the us dollar value of vchain so if we can maintain above the 129 really the 13 here on the vchain bitcoin pairing i think our next impulse takes us to about 17 here folks so whenever we get that next major impulse to the upside i think that is when that will probably translate to the us dollar value of uh of v chain so following how re we react off the v chain bitcoin pairing it's gonna be very important for trying to time the next big move for v chain whether the upside or the downside same with the uh v chain bitcoin pairing we've been tearing 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 through uh major resistance levels and if we can get above and hold above four five uh kind of you know four three to four five i think we're flying we're absolutely flying folks and if you want to know how to time when the altcoins are truly going to explode, folks, take a look and follow the Bitcoin dominance chart. Go to Trading View. Look at BTC.D. The Bitcoin dominance chart, for those who don't know, is the total value of Bitcoin in comparison to the total value of all cryptocurrency. Whenever it rises, altcoins typically suffer. Whenever it falls, altcoins typically benefit. We've been moving within this range from 65 to 60%. Once we fall below 60% in Bitcoin dominance and get a daily candle closing below 60%, that will be something new that we haven't gotten since uh, since back in October, back in 2020. So, folks that is when i think we see uh altcoins truly truly start to fly and something we're going to be talking about our di i'm going to be talking to our discord group um this weekend if not probably sometime this week about what's happening with altcoins soon because there's so much interesting things to talk about with this market folks i could literally make it like a three hour long video and just talk about all the interesting things that are, that are to know and understand with this market so a few things to note with the uh with the altcoins specifically we're getting uh upgrades to ethereum and upgrades to uniswap uh um coming soon so that might not necessarily affect vchain the point is alts specifically are going to start to explode once we get those improvements the gas fees on ethereum and improvements to uh and we get uh uniswap version 3 and so a, a rising tide raises all boats and once we see the altcoins truly start to take off with some of those two major catalysts and bitcoin dominance falling below uh 60 i think that is when we see the insane insane uh breakouts with v chain i don't think we've seen anything yet folks you know i like to say 50 cents to a dollar we're at like what do we have folks like right now we're at seven six cents so we got a long ways to go so make sure you tune to this channel like subscribe comment share hit that bell like and notified of new uploads until next time thank you so much for watching take care